I'm Seth, I am a freshman in college, and here is my dorm room. It's not entirely complete, definitely still a work in progress, but at this point I feel like it's completed enough where I can show you guys around. Enjoy! I just spent four hours figuring out my room key thing. I'm dead tired and now I have to build an IKEA product. And then I spent the next 10 minutes trying to assemble this lamp. Let there be light. By the way, I got this standing tall whiteboard from Home Depot for like six bucks, so if you're ever in need of one of those, you know where to go. Before I left my house, I actually came up with a general floor plan of how I wanted to arrange decorations on my walls, so I'm just referencing that on my laptop here. So I just came back from uh, two hours of walking in 95 degree weather, but I got a poster and it's very cute. I actually got these push pins from a friend as part of a birthday gift maybe two or three years ago, so I'm just using them to help me pin up this poster. I also put up this extra push pin to hang up some of my lanyards. And since I had some extra leftover decoration stuff that I didn't manage to put up on my wall, I decided that this empty space would be a pretty good place to put it. Now this little thing is a jewelry organizer slash holder that I DIY'd myself. I realized back at home that most of my jewelry is just kind of strewn all over the place, and in college I won't have enough desk space to be able to do that reasonably, so I just bought a bunch of stuff from Daiso and hoped for the best. The plastic heart shape thing was originally supposed to be a makeup brush holder, but I don't really have enough makeup brushes to fill that space, so I just flipped it upside down so that its solid bottom surface could serve as a platform to glue the magnets onto. You can see that these magnets are actually really, really strong the way they snap together. I initially tried to put one magnet on each side of the plastic, but they kept moving around, so I eventually decided to just hot glue them in place so they wouldn't move. Thank you. 
I painted the top rim pink with some acrylic paint, and then I just attached my metal earrings to the magnets. I also have some earrings that are a bit, uh, magnetically challenged, so I put those on a little dish I bought from a Japanese store for like 99 cents. And there you have it, DIY jewelry organizer. This project cost me only $3 since I already had hot glue and paint and stuff like that available at home. Next up, I painted this pencil holder that I also got from Daiso. It originally came as this clear-ish plastic organizer, which honestly looked kind of cheap and ugly. I began by masking all the parts that I wanted to keep clear, aka the parts that I didn't want to paint. Make sure you always mask your materials. I cannot stress this enough. The sheer number of times I thought, oh, maybe I can get away with not masking it this time and then severely messing it up. Like, just, just mask your stuff, bro. It'll be so much easier in the long run. I then used this glossy-ish enamel spray paint to coat everything that was unmasked. My acrylic paints are not of the best quality, they are kind of see-through, so it helped that I did the initial white enamel layer because it made it a little bit more opaque. Then I just put all the little newly painted dividers back into their respective slots and ta-da, brand new pencil holder. Now it's time for me to set up the monitor and computer. Is this gonna mess up my aesthetic? Yes, very much so. But like, I gotta get a degree, so. Here we go. So I have these string lights, which are kind of globular, and I have these guys, which are like stars. I think I'm going to hang the globe ones on the top, and maybe the stars are going to be like, if I loft my bed, I might do it along like the bed frame. First off, here's my bed. I've got these sheets from Target for like eight bucks, this cover from Ikea for maybe like 20 bucks, and some lovely stuffies. I prefer stuffed animals to throw pillows because they just have a little bit more personality to them. It's nice to come back after a long day and see all these smiling faces staring back at you. I also have this little bag hanging right next to my bed. In it, I keep, um, a watch to help me tell the time if I don't have my phone on me at night, and a bunch of earplugs. As you can tell, most of the stuff that I use as decoration is up on my walls. I feel like this helps preserve the precious real estate of a dorm desk, and it just helps you make the most of your space. The few cute items that I do keep on my desk are mostly organizational items like the jewelry holder, the pencil holder, and the little uh, condensed milk can that I spray painted that I keep all my makeup brushes in. Basically the idea that the only cute things I have can also double as some kind of storage or organization. Now let me give you guys the cute b-roll.
And that was my dorm room makeover. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll definitely be doing like a more in-depth dorm tour later in the year once I figure out what kind of like living arrangement works best for me here. But thank you guys for watching and I'll see you soon.